If you want to be successful in learning chemistry, you need to take a listen. I'm going to go over five different things you should be doing right now to learn chemistry in whatever class you're taking. And let's get started. Okay, number one, you need a textbook. It's going to be your number one go-to resource. So you should have a textbook. Don't give me, oh, the professor gave me the notes or whatever. Uh-uh, you need a textbook. That's your number one resource that you're going to go back and you're going to check. Get one if you can't afford the brand new version and get an older version on maybe eBay, but get a textbook. Second thing, you can't just read over notes. First of all, you got to pay attention in lecture and take notes. Then with your notes and the textbook open, you're going to go through your notes and make sure you understand everything. And we don't go to the textbook. Number three, you got to do problems. If you're assigned problem sets, you got to do them. Usually, if you're in college, you don't hand in homework. But those problem sets are crucial because that's the practice your professor wants you to do. Before you even do those, I always have my students, my AP students, do the problems embedded in a chapter. Those are sometimes called example problems. Those are the problems in the chapter that give you the question and then show you the solution worked out. Hide the solution, try them for yourself. If you get them wrong, you do them again. If you think you know the stuff, find the hardest question and do it. But don't do anything without at least the answer and hopefully the worked out problem. So if you make a mistake, you can go back and correct your mistakes. Fourth, there is basic information you need to memorize. This periodic table right in front of you has the element symbols and the names. If you're not given the names of the elements, you have to memorize them or at least memorize the ones that show up most often and spell correctly. Polyatomic ions, know the names, know the formula, know the charges. You can't do compound formulas and naming compounds without them. That's basic information. Number five, memorize how to do basic skills. For example, if you're looking at an element, protons, neutrons, and electrons, how do you find that? You should know that like the back of your hand. The order of fill for electron configurations with SPDF, you should know that like the back of your hand. You got to memorize some pieces of information in order to be successful. All five of these can be hard work. Why do you think that not everybody takes chemistry? It's not easy. In fact, for big universities, a lot of times it's one of those weed out classes where a whole bunch of freshmen take it and then a whole bunch of, of students drop out. Some universities even require an entrance exam to even take freshman chemistry in college. So it's hard work. But with that hard work, you're going to get a lot of return, not just as far as learning chemistry, but how to apply it and handle other classes and other problems that come up in life. So keep working hard and good luck.